Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? How was your weekend? Good evening. It's good, good to evening, have teacher. you here, Lorena. It's good to have you, Carla. Eh, Carla Garcia, Carla Veronica, Aura Chicas, eh, Omar. Okay, I'm nice to see you. To have you here. Okay, nice to see you too. Okay, this week we are going to start working. Uh, we will continue with the section number two. And remember that this week we are going, we expect to finish the section number two and also to uh, finish the section number three and also be prepared for the midterm exam, okay, in the platform. So um, I would like to confirm if, can you watch my screen? Yes. Okay, excellent. So thank you. Thank you for confirming. So we have the 2.2 lesson objective that says by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun plus until plus an adjective to express health problems. And additionally, you will practice a, a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life settings, okay? So we are going to have a, a lot of conversation about this topic and a, you will have the have plus noun plus feel plus adjective conversation. For example, I feel homesick. And then you have a video that you can watch in a platform, right? Uh, so I invite you to go and watch this video in order that you Guilleme, can este, Cesar. your pronunciation, that you can improve your pronunciation and that you can um, practice. Okay, so let me advance. Uh, we are going to cover also the 2.4 knowledge objective that says, uh, listen to the conversation. Where do these people hurt? There may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. So basically what you have to do is to open this window and this, uh, is, a, this is a pop-up window that will guide you to an audio that you can download in order that you can practice in your listening and that you can practice in your pronunciation of the words that you feel that need improvement in pronunciation. So that's the purpose of this exercise. And we are going to cover the 2.5 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medications for health problems, right? So we are going to cover this today, and then you will have this 2.6 uh, video in a platform that says vocabulary common medications. So we are going to talk about these common medications, and you can listen in order to learn how to provide some advice regarding to medications. Um, for tomorrow, we are going to continue with some imperatives, right? So I'm going to stop sharing the platform and I will focus on what do I have for you uh, tonight for class. Okay, let me start by saying that in order that we can express how do we feel um, we have different expressions. For example, for the questions, how are you regarding to health uh, or general um, uh, status, we can say in an affirmative expressions, fine, right? Or you can say sick if you're sick, or you say I'm sick. How are you today? Good, awful. It's like, oh my God, I'm not feeling well, or I feel sick. How, how do you feel? Great. Or you say terrible, not so good. How do you feel today? Fantastic or miserable. Not so very well. Okay. Not so very well. So when you hear or see that someone is not well, then you can ask, what's the matter? Or what's wrong, right? Because you're, you see that the person is not feeling well or he or she doesn't look so well. And the person who is sick or has a health problem may respond, I have plus the health problem. For example, I have a back pain or a backache or I have a headache, right? Or I've got the flu, right? Uh, so I've got plus the health problem. So you can say, I have or I've got. Ese I've got es I have got. Es como 
en español, me ha dado, ¿verdad? O, o, me, o, o me ha llegado tal cosa, pero es I've got. Example, I have a sore throat, like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And actually, I have a little bit of sore throat. I need some water to moisturize my, my throat. How do you feel? My hair is falling out. I'm going bald. My nose is runny. My eyes are dry and watery. I cut my tongue. My throat is dry. I can't stop coughing. My chest feels tight. I can't breathe. My stomach hurts. My knees keep locking. My legs feel weak. I twist my ankle. My waist is my my waist is getting bigger. Am um, um, I overweight? I cut my finger. The bleeding won't stop. My arm is sore. I have a toothache. I think I have a cavity. My ears are sore. I can't hear. My skin is itchy. I can't stop scratching. My head hurts. What wrong, what's wrong with me? So this boy is very sick. So the common problems. What's wrong? What's the matter? I have asthma. I have a backache. I have a broken leg. I have a cold. I have a cough. I have an earache. I have a fever. I have the flu. I have a headache. I have a heartburn. I have the muscle. I have a rush. I have a sore throat. I have a stomach ache or a stomach ache separated like in British English. I have a sunburn. I have a toothache. Again, <clears throat> a broken leg a bruise, a cold, a cough, a cramp, a cut, an earache, a fever, a headache, a runny nose, a sore throat, a stomachache, a stuffy nose, a sunburn, a toothache. So now is your turn to practice. What's the matter? What's wrong? For example, I have a headache. In this case, you're using the subject I plus have plus the noun, a headache. How are you? I'm sick. How do you feel? I don't feel well. Subject, I, plus in this case the negative, don't feel well, the adjective, right? I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. So please um, take a picture of this and we will go and have a short conversation to express how um, do you feel today, okay? So let me go to the first uh, part in order that you can see the possible answers. Okay, so let me share with you. If you could take a picture, it's going to be okay. Okay, do you have questions about uh, what we are going to do? ¿Tenemos preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No, teacher. Ok, excelente. So, let me go and do four breakout rooms and I hope that you can join in pairs. Ok. Please join. Let me see. Ok.
I have a so, headache. So, how are you? I am. I'm sick. I'm sick. I am sick. How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? How do you feel? Mm. Bad? Terrible? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, terrible. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. You get, you get better soon. I hope you feel. Uh, or you feel okay, better. It's okay. It's okay. You get better or you feel better soon. Okay. Okay. You feel better soon. My dear, I sent you to the WhatsApp group some images about some health problems. Okay. Okay. Other that you can take as model if you want in this conversation. For example, it says, have a cold or the flu, have an earache, have a stomachache have a fever temperature, have a toothache, have a rash, have a sore throat, feel sick, or have diarrhea, okay? Just we are talking about that, that we can use some uh, images or... Yes. As example, yes. You can <laughs> to, like to make drama. conversation. I feel <laughs> terrible, <laughs> like the drama. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I'm going okay. To, okay. to go to other group. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. See you in a minute. Hello, hello. How is it going? Hello, I'm fine. And you? Fine, thank you. Are you practicing? Were you able to communicate each other? Uh, I don't have a partner. <gasps> Sorry, Elizabeth. Do, uh, would you like that I move you to, the, to another group? Mm, I don't know. We can Indeed. practice. We can practice together, okay? If you want. Okay. Okay. For example, I sent you uh, to the WhatsApp group another images. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm reading right now uh, that you say I don't have a partner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, in this case, um, if you want, you can take those uh, as example. Let me just write here. Okay, but we are working together. I just will say, okay. I will work with you. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for the chat record. Okay, so for example, if I, if I ask you, let me ask you. Okay, what's the matter, Elizabeth? I, I don't feel good. I have a headache. 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 Headache, okay. Headache. So I say, um, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you, feel, I hope, hope you feel better soon. It's a little tricky. I, get I hope you feel better soon. I hope, I hope do you feel better soon. Sin el do, I hope you feel. I hope you feel. Better soon. Better soon. O también la otra expresión, I hope you get better soon. I hope you get better soon. Esa you get es como que te pongas mejor, ¿verdad? Eh, pronto. Okay. Y la otra, I hope you feel, espero que te sientas mejor. Sienta. Pronto, sí. Ok, now, now you ask me, please. Uh, Patricia, how are you today? I'm terrible. Oh, what's the matter you? I feel sick. I have a stomachache. It's killing me. <laughs> and you take a pill? No, I haven't. I will see my doctor. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Oh, Wait. Excellent. You excellent. can feel good. Yeah, I hope you can feel better soon. Excellent. Okay, in the next part of the class, we are going to offer some remedies, okay? So okay. let's close this activity and in the next uh, conversation, I will join you to the other group, okay? Okay. Thank you for practicing you. with me. See you in a minute, okay? Thank you for you. Excellent. I'm fine. Hello, hello, how is it going? Hi, teacher. Are you about to finish? Yes, but yes. Una consulta. yes, tell me please, how can I help you? 
it, what's the matter is the same. Um, how, how are, are you? you? No, what's the matter is because I see you have a problem. The how are you is like a very general way to ask about you. But when oh. I say what's the matter is because maybe I see you crying or maybe mm -hmm. I see you're yeah. like this, like this, or you're like this. And then I say, no, 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 that's not normal. It's, this person is having a problem. So I say, what's, excuse me, what's the matter? How can I help you? And then the person says, oh, I feel terrible. My headache is killing me. And so, and then they start talking about the problem. So that's what's okay. the matter. When you notice uh, yes. that someone is having a problem. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm calling you back in a minute in order that we continue with the conversation uh, now related to common medications. Okay. 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 See you in a minute. Hello, hello, welcome back. People is coming back from the practice. So let's see. Okay, I would like to know who, who wants to share, who wants to share with the class what you did or what you practice in the breakout room. Okay, so the mic uh, is yours, the mic is yours. And I practice with Elizabeth. So I don't know, Elizabeth, would you like to start? that we both can share with the class? Yes. Okay. Um, I will start asking you, Elizabeth, what's wrong? I have a headache. Oh, sorry to hear that. I hope you can feel better soon. Uh, yes, I'm, I have that. Okay. So would you like to ask me? Okay, Patricia, what is the matter? I have a terrible stomach ache. It is killing me. Okay, and you have take a pill? No yet. I will see my doctor later. Okay. When you will you get filled soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Okay, excellent. Uh, who wants to continue? Next team. Let's see. Maybe Aura's team? Hola. Hola, Aura. Would you like to share um, your team's presentation? Yes. Thank you. Uh, with, with Claudia. Okay, Aura and Claudia. Yes. Hi, Cla uh, Claudia. What's, what's the matter? I am, I am sick. What's wrong? I I have a uh, February fever fever fever. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you feel, Claudia? I don't feel me well. I feel terrible. Okay, okay. I hope you feel better soon, Claudia. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, next team. Let's see next team. Carlita. Carlitas. Carlitas team. Start turn. <laughs> okay, please go ahead. Okay. Carla, what's the matter? I am seeing. What's wrong with you? I have a, um, a stomach cake. Oh, and how are you? I am sick. How do you feel? I don't feel well. I feel terrible. 
I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks. Excellent, very good, congratulations. You did a good presentation by using the expressions that we normally use to ask a person. I was saying that we use what's the matter when it's noticeable that a person is having a problem. For example, if I see a person crying or like this or like this, I see that this person is having a problem. So I say, what's the matter or what's wrong? Because I'm, I'm seeing that the person is very bad. So I go directly and ask and I offer some help. Thank you. So let me advance and I sent you this image that it's to um, express some problems. For example, have a cold or have the flu, have an yeah. earache, mm -hmm. have a stomach ache, have a fever or temperature, have a toothache, have a rash, have a sore throat, feel sick, have diarrhea. Okay, those are very common problems. Now, I have here this short conversation that say, hello, doctor, I need your help. Hello, Sara, what seems to be the problem? Well, I have a bad cough and a sore throat. I also have a backache. How long have you had these symptoms? About two days. Have you taken your temperature? I've got a high temperature. Have you got any other symptoms? No. Mm, it sounds like you got the flu. Take, the as take aspirin every four hours and get plenty of rest. Make sure you drink lots of fluids. Call me if you're still sick next week. I'll do, thanks. Okay, so this is a very common conversation between the patient and the doctor. And basically, um, when we say about the symptoms is how do I feel, right? because the signals are physical and the symptoms is how do you feel inside of yourself and uh, how long have you had these symptoms is in order to to measure how long have you been sick or when the uh, disease started and uh, well another um, issues like temperature or any other symptoms so let me go back later to this conversation uh, by now, I just want to show you that we have some idioms in the day-by-day um, -day, um, English, in, this, in the spoken English. Normally, people use some expressions like the one in bold. For example, this conversation between Mr. Ruiz and Jani. Mr. Ruiz says, good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm in a tip top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. So this is a very familiar conversation, maybe between friends, or maybe he's the boss and she's the um, collaborator, but they have like a very familiar, familiar language or speaking. Uh, for example, what are the expressions about? Some idioms, como en español, algunos dicho, ¿verdad? Are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. For example, to be in one, uh, to be up in one's ears in work means to have a lot of work. Like in Spanish, ¿verdad? Estar hasta las orejas de trabajo. Es, it's like an idiom, to be in one's ears in work. Uh, for example here, as sick as a dog is to be very sick, right? Number two, to be very sick. Under the weather too, it means... Um, Let's see. No. Not feeling well, right? Not feeling well. Under the weather too. Es como estar, me está lloviendo, ¿verdad? Sobre mojado también. 
there's something going around. Es, many people have the same thing. Es como, hay algo en el ambiente, ¿verdad? Es something going around. Eso es como, hay algo, ¿verdad? Que está contaminando. Uh, my stomach is killing me. It's, uh, my stomach hurts badly. Hurts badly. Take it easy. It's like, to relax, to rest. Can't afford to. It's don't have time to. Calling sick. It's to phone the office to say you're sick. Uh, tipped up shape. It's like in great condition. When you say now I'm in a tipped up shape. It's like now I'm very good. I'm feeling well. My, uh, I'm very, I'm feeling great. Okay. My disease already passed. Okay, uh, we are going to stop sharing this and I'll go to the next part of the class when I would like to show you and later we come back to the conversation. Uh, common medications, because these topics are uh, familiar, right? They are together. For example, um, in the common medications, we have eye drops, nasal spray, cough, syrup, teaspoon, ice pack, lotion, ointment, heating pack, antiacid tablets, soft gel, solution, effervescent tablet, powder, antiseptic, oral rinse, discongestant spray, pill, tablet, capsule, caplet, cold tablets, cough drops, vitamins, Aspirin, throat lozenges. So I would like to ask you, is there a new word here that you would like to, to know the meaning? Or do you understand all of those meanings? Hay alguna expresión? Ointment. Ointment is like pomada. Pomada. Or your skin. Mm -hmm. And strong losers. It's like big for your sore throat or sorritone. Oh, okay. Or the ones that you um like you don't swallow, but you keep like a candy in your mouth in order that you feel that it's moisturizing your throat. What is the difference between pill, tablet, tablet, capsule, tablet? Okay. Okay, a pill is something very small, right? A tablet is, li is like a ceraminophen. They are round, mm -hmm. right? Like a uh -huh. coin. The capsule is long. It's mm -hmm. the same consistency, but it's uh, long and they are divided like in two parts, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the caplets are those like soft, soft gel, like... Ah, okay. Like, um, let's see, AM, Tapsin liquid gels. Yeah, AM, PM, Tapsin liquid gels. Yes. Okay. Are like the caplets. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Do you have more questions about this vocabulary? No? Throat losing, losinges is como pomada. No, son caramelos para la garganta. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yes, to moisturize. Y, 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 ¿Y pomada cuál sería? Eh, ointment. Oint, ah, okay. Un cuento, Oint. un cuento, pomada. Thank you. Es el que es más consistente. Ok. Right? Uh -huh. Porque el que es como más líquido, como crema, es a lotion. Como crema corporal, es a lotion. Ok. Ok, excelente. Ok, so... At the doctor's vocabulary. Back in English, eh, se dice at the doctor's, at the dentist, y de, se dice at the doctor's office. At the dentist's office. Esa es más la conceptualización de una oficina, ¿verdad? In, in the hospital is the hospital where you go and there are many doctors and many nurses. A syringe, cluster, ambulance, thermometer, a stethoscope, blood, bandage, first aid kit, mask, injection. Uh, 
paramedics, pediatrician, nurse, patient, doctor, intravenous, medical exam, pulse, neck brace, microscope. So I would like to ask you again, do you have new words there that you would like to know the meaning? Plaster. Uh, plus, what is plaster? The second one of the left, right, of the left side. Es como, un, side. como una venda, como un vendaje. Uh, it's sir, syringe, ¿cómo se dice? Es una jeringa para la inyección, uh -huh. syringe. Syringe. Sirenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Eh, uh, neck brace. Ah, el neck brace es como el collarín. El no. collarín que se pone como, por ejemplo, cuando ha habido un accidente eh, y usted tiene que mantener como, como el fijo, el cuello, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Es un collarín en realidad. Perdón, el plaster eh, estaba, el plaster es como un yeso, perdón, ahí, ahí yo me, me, me estaba equivocando, me quedo un poco así, no, no es eso. El plaster es cuando usted tiene una quebradura y le, y le sí, sí, lo que pasa es que también se puede encontrar eh, como un vendaje, pero en realidad es un vendaje que se solidifica, ¿verdad? Okay. Y al final se convierte en un yeso. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Excellent. So let's continue. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the common remedies, right? That work. Common remedies that work. For example, stay hot, hydrated, uh, like um, water, juice, uh, clear both or warm lemon. Uh, water with honey helps loosen congestion and prevents the hydration. Rest. Your body needs to heal. Soothe a sore throat. Combat stuffiness. Relieve pain. Sip warm liquids. Add moisture to the air. Try over the counter. Cold and cough medications. Remember that this is like remedies. It's different from the doctor's medicine. This is like at home, right? Like more natural, like more uh, traditional medicine, right? That you do from your grandma's uh, advices, right? So for example. What's, what do you mean almost to the air? Es como um, sanitizar o suavizar el ambiente, ¿sí? Ah, um, okay. Por ejemplo, yeah. when, you, when you add some oil and you in out, right? Um, como cuando ponemos el ambiente eh, con inhalador, por ejemplo, cuando tenemos, usualmente que usamos un inhalador para tener mentol, por ejemplo, add moisture to the air, right? Eh, for headache, literalmente es como agregue la suavidad al aire, pero en realidad es como agregue, ¿verdad? Eh, emolientes al aire, como eh, se bien. llama aromatherapy, right? Como aromaterapia. Mm -hmm. Okay. For okay. Headache. Thank you. You're welcome. For headache, drink water. Uh, inadequate hydration may lead you to develop a headache. Uh, take some magnesium. Limit alcohol. Get adequate sleep. Avoid foods in high in histamine. Use essential oils. Try a B complex vitamin. Soothe pain with a cold compress. So now. Now we are going to continue with the same conversation, but now we are going to provide some advices. For example, here, what's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache, or you already did this part. Uh, how are you? I'm sick. How do you feel? I don't feel well. I feel terrible, right? Now is your turn. For example, I am not feeling well. I have a fever. What should I do? So in this case, when I say, what should I do? I'm asking your advice, right? I'm asking, um, what can you recommend to me because I'm sick, I'm having a fever. So normally the person who provides the advice says, whenever I have a fever, I take aspirin. 
Uh, take, uh, you should take aspirin too. Whenever I have a rash, I apply some ointment on my skin. You should apply some ointment too. So in here, it will depend on what's the problem, right? And the other person can, says, can say, thank you for the advice. I hope you feel better soon, okay? So now is the time to go beyond only asking what's the matter or what's wrong, but now you have to ask and provide, uh, provide an advice to the person who's saying that, that is not, he or she is not feeling well. Okay, so let me send you this in order that we can do this practice. And again, I will invite you to go to the breakout rooms. I will do just a few modifications in order that all of you can participate. And let me open the rooms. So, aprisión on me también tú. Yes, ajá. You should to rest too. Debes de descansar también. Ok. Eh, y yo te digo, thank you for the advice. I hope you feel very soon. Very, very soon. Better, better. Better soon. I hope you feel well so. I hope you feel better so. Excellent. Excellent. I leave you. We will join in like two more minutes, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Um, a ver. Um, what? Why? Uh, because I I have um a cough. A cough? Both? Okay. Cough. Cough. Uh -huh. cough. I, I have a cough. I, I have a cough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces me preguntarías, what should I do, verdad? 
¿Qué me recomiendas? What should I do? What should I do? Uh -huh. Ajá. Um, um, you take... Uh, ¿Qué tenés? Toda. You should. Yes. You should take... You, you took... You should take. Ok, you should take. Ok. Uh -huh. And you should take. take. Um, ay, no sé. Aspirina. Eh, maybe cough, cough, jarabe de la tos. Sorry, how, how do you say? Cough, syrup. Cough, syrup. Ajá, jarabe de la tos. Ok, ok, ok. Ajá. You, you should took. No, you take. take. Está bien. You should You took. should take. You should take. Porque took take. es pasado. ¿Sí? Exacto. Ajá. Entonces, okay, okay. es como you should take. Deberías tomar. Porque okay. si no es que tú tomaste, ¿verdad? Que tú tomaste, correcto. Uh -huh. Gracias. Uh -huh. you, you should take. Um, uh -huh. cough. Eh, cough syrup. Syrup. Uh -huh. Cough syrup. Uh -huh. Okay. You, you should take cough syrup. Uh -huh. And, and uh, guardar reposo. You should rest. Okay. You, you should rest. Uh -huh. or, or, you, or you take. You should take a rest. Of you okay. should, you uh, should take a rest. Or you should and, rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. You should rest and sleep, Claudita. Yes. Okay. Thank you for advice. Okay. okay. I hope you feel better soon. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations. Okay. Did you finish or is it still someone missing to give advice? Todavía falta que una le dé el consejo a la otra. Or you no, finish. I finish. I finish. Excellent. I'll call you back in a minute. Okay? See you. Okay. 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 La teacher dijo que para decir tú deberías de tomar es you, sh you should take. Ajá, uh -huh. you should take. Um, hello. Hi, when we're talking about pills, you say take, okay? Uh, when you, it's like confusing because sometimes we say we should drink, okay? But in this case, when we are talking about pills, or uh, tablets or caplets, we say you should take, okay? Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Yes. Ok, les decía, solo rapidito en español, eh, puede ser un poco confuso porque uno creería que se dice drink, uh -huh. tomar sí. la pastilla, pero en inglés se dice take, you should take a pill, es take, uh -huh. se, se hace con take. Eh, obviamente, ¿verdad? We need some water to drink, eh, but eh, the action of taking the, um, the pill, right? It's take. You should take. That's the expression. That's the correct expression in English, okay? Excellent. So now, who was the conversation? Who wants to start? We have two teams, so I would like to, to see who's going to start. Carlita. Okay, Carlita. Nice. Carlita and Lorena. <laughs> Bye. I am not feeling well. I have a um, headache. 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 Mm -hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Intonation question. Okay. What should I do? Okay. What when should it, I do? Whenever I have a um, headache, um, whenever I have headache, I drink water, inadequate hydration, uh, may lead you to develop a headache, take some pills, limit alcohol, get adequate sleep, just rest. You should rest too. 
Ok, sí. excelente. Thank you. Now, the vice versa, did you work on the vice versa that uh, you are uh, sick, Lorena, and Carlita give you the advice? Ok. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling well. Um, I have a rush. Um, what should I do? Whenever I have um, a oh, rush. Whenever I have um, 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 in ointment. Mm -hmm. I apply. You should apply some ointment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ointment. Um, I am um, refresh. Um, <laughs> you, you say in Spanish and I will help you. A ver, en español, ¿cómo sería? Okay. Uh, Voy a decirle también eh, que se refrescara eh, duchándose o no ah, sé. You should take a shower to refresh okay. your skin, right? Ok. Digámoslo juntos. You should. Ok. You should. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take. Take. A shower. A shower. To refresh. To refresh. Your skin. Your skin. Excellent. Excellent. You Thanks should... for the advice, Carlita. I hope you feel better soon. Oh, better, better. Better soon. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Very good team. Okay, let's see next team. Vamos a ver el siguiente equipo. Next team. Eh, Aurita. Okay, I'm not feeling well. I have a cough. Okay. What shall I do? Um, I, you should, I think you should take a, a cough, cough, I don't remember how it's called in Arabic. Syrup, cough syrup. Cough syrup? Um, uh, you, you should take a rest. Mm -hmm. Um, you take a um, you 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 uh, you should take a a shower mm -hmm. and and sleep. Excellent. Uh -huh. Thank you for the advice, uh, Aura. You're welcome. I hope you feel better soon, okay? Thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very good. Okay, the vice versa. Now the other person is asking for an advice. <clears throat> Me? Yes, please. Okay. I'm not feeling well, Claudia. I have a stomach ache. Stomach ache. Well, Stomach. What should I do? Uh, whenever I have a stomach cake, I have. Um, I take. I take. Um, I take. Um, a, you can say the name of the medicine. A caplet. Capsule. A capsule. A capsule. Uh huh. A capsule mm -hmm. and, 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 and you should you should um take um with with eight hours. Mm, okay, uh, take it uh, within eight hours or every eight hours. Okay, you should 
take, uh, you, you should take. Take uh, it. Take it. Taking. Taking. Okay. Porque estamos take. hablando de la capsule. So you should take it every. You should every. take it every. Uh, every. Eight hours. Eight hours. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the advice. I hope you felt better, son. Feel better. Feel better. Yeah, feel better soon. Okay, okay excellent. You. Congratulations, team. Now you know how to give, how to ask advice when you feel sick, and now you know how to give advice when somebody is not feeling well. Remember that the best advice is you should see a doctor, right? If the, the problem is like, serious, uh, the best advice is you should see a doctor, okay? Excellent. Okay. So, the phrases that we have been studying from the, from the platform here is whenever, whenever I have, you can say the problem, I do this, right? Whenever I have a fever, I take aspirin. Uh, whenever I have a rash, I, I apply some on my, on my skin. Whenever I have a headache, I take acetaminophen. Whenever I have a stomach ache, I have some um, stomach, uh, so, some, I don't know, maybe um, uh, uh, you said a couplet, maybe we can say um, syrup uh, for the stomach ache or something like that. Teacher, yeah? whenever is a past tense. No, it's a present uh, tense. Cuando es, whenever I have a fever, cuando yo tengo una fiebre o siempre que yo tengo, puede tomarlo todo una, una Siempre que yo tengo una fiebre o cuando yo tengo una fiebre, eso es whenever. Ajá, uh -huh. whenever. Ajá, recuerde que... Can we use uh -huh. uh, with the past tense, whenever I had, yes. for example. Uh, whenever I had a problem, I, uh, I talk to my mom. Siempre que yo tenía un problema, yo hablaba con Hablas con mi mamá. Yes. yes, whenever I had a problem, you can say, in order to see that you're talking about a past uh, situation, you may say, when I was a child, whenever I had a problem, I talked to my mom. Or when I was a child, or in the past, whenever I had a problem, I always uh, requested advice from my sister. Right? Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. um, a full expression of past. Okay. okay. Thanks for asking. Okay. Let me finish by showing you this. Okay. For medications, you may say you should take a painkiller or an aspirin. A painkiller is like, como algo que quita el dolor, ¿verdad? Un calmante del dolor. A painkiller. Take cold tablets. Thank hey, you. Take cough medicine. Use cough. a nasal spray. Take a decongestant. Use skin ointment. Uh, use eye drops, right? Uh, take an antihistamine. For example, the acetaminophen or uh, Tylenol or all those for fever are antihistamine, okay? Take allergy medicine like chlorpheniramina, loratadina, that's allergy medicine. Take an antibiotic, oh, excuse me. Take an, oops. Take an antibiotic, for example, those are very dangerous, but people used to, to drink like, um, let's see, trimetroprim. Amoxicillin. 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 Uh -huh. Amoxicillin. It's dangerous to do that because it's self-medication. It's better to go and see a doctor. Take an antiacid, for example, Magnesia Philips or I don't know, maybe Pepto Bismol. Take vitamins, vitamin B, vitamin C, right? La, and that's medications. Look, that's medications. But you have also advice regarding to remedies, something that you easily do at home. For example, you should you should lie down, ooh, lie down, just rest right? Put pressure on it. If you have, for example, a pain and stomach ache, uh, put pressure on it, right? Uh, use, um, uh, wash it and put on a band on a band aid, 
this is when you have a finger cut, you can wash it and put a band on it. Put ice on it, right? If you have like a, a injury, right? Um, you can Chindondo. Put, yeah, <laughs> alias chindondo, <laughs> injury. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go to bed, uh, drink something, something hot. For example, if you have the cold or the flu, you can drink something, something hot. Drink lots of water, for example. Uh, go to the doctor or see a doctor. Go to the chiropractor. The chiropractor is for the back pain, right? Uh, these people that help you to align again your uh, backbone, okay? Go to the hospital, get an x-ray exam, okay? So today, my dears, we have talked about how to say how do you feel, how to express that you don't feel well because you feel sick, and to ask and give advice about dog, uh, medicine that is um, prescribed by a doctor or some remedies that you can do or prepare at home. Okay, my okay. question is, do you have questions about the topic? No? No. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for coming. And I hope that you can be safe. Uh, please go to bed, uh, take a good rest. And I hope to see you tomorrow here to continue. Yes, thank you. Okay? Thank, thank you. you. Bye, bye. Thank you. Have a nice night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.